Okay, so we've soldered our tabbing wire to the positive end of our solar cells and uh, we've put down an insulator tape. Now this here comes a real tricky part. Uh, once again, just because it's custom installation, this is just a little more difficult than uh, the usual flexible solar panel that I, I like to build. Just take that off your solar cells off of your panel. Flip the panel over. And we're getting ready to uh, pour rosin. What you need? Some wax paper. And uh, I like to use packing tape. First thing you want to do is stretch out a piece of packing tape the length of your panel sticky side up I'm going to put it beside the panel just take the end of it where you pulled it off from the tape reel and just kind of fold it over so it's the sticking down to your work area hold that down go a little bit beyond the length of your panel. Go ahead and cut that off and put sticky, this all, all sticky side up. Just roll it over at the end so that it's sticking to the table or your workbench. Try to keep any creases out of it. And then you want to cut pieces about an inch wide of wax paper. Just cut the length of the paper. I'm going to shorten this process. I've made a few of them already. And you want to put, put the straight edge, basically your straightest edge of it, about You're going to leave about one inch of your packing tape exposed. That one inch that ex is exposed is going to go to the bottom side of your panel. So go ahead and uh, cut your wax paper. And you can have it overlap just a little. That's okay. Leave about an inch exposed. Of the packing tape. You're going to cut wax paper and put down packing tape on both sides of your panel as well as the ends. You're going to just basically be wrapping this around. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. piece ready to put on. Once again the sticky side is now going to be flipped over. We're going to put it down on one side of the panel. This one is long enough to reach to the longer edge of the panel and you want that wax paper to just go over the edge, the bottom edge of your panel. Once you have that lined up you want it to have at least about uh, no more than about an eighth of an inch and then you're going to put down your uh, packing tape sticky side down we're going to secure that to the bottom side of the panel. What we're going to do is we're making a form for the resin to sit in when we're ready to pour. Go ahead and 
pull out another piece of packing tape. Make sure it's long enough to reach both ends of your work area of your solar panel. Just kind of roll one end of it so that sticky side, your sticky side is up. But you're going to roll the end of it so that you can stick this tape down to your workbench. Try not to get any creases in your duct tape. Cut one inch strips. Cover all but about an inch. Of the packing tape. One inch of stickiness is left exposed. <clears throat> it's okay to overlap. I'm going to leave about one inch of sticky tape exposed. Your wax papers taking up basically the rest of the sticky tape. Overlap. Leave about one inch exposed. Prep is always important. Try to take your time. Once you've got that down, onto the packing tape, ready to flip it over and adhere it. Once again, you got to turn it around here because you're working on the far side. And we're going to put it to where the wax paper comes just about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the bottom back side of the solar panel. It doesn't have to be perfectly one eighth of an inch. I think I've got about three sixteenths on this side and maybe a quarter inch in areas on this side. It's because I didn't cut the wax paper real straight. But that's okay. We just are making a form to hold that resin in. We're going to flip this over and uh, we just be about ready to pour. A couple more things to do. We can still do the ends here. A little bit of custom cutting here at the ends. have to make it so this wax paper comes about an eighth of an inch to the back side of the solar panel. Very important. Take your time. You're about to make your first flexible solar panel, semi-flexible solar panel. Everybody wants to know how to do this. 
And if you're watching this video, you're some of the first. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here at the far end. Make sure it's sealed all the way around the edges. Because <clears throat> you don't want to have any of this resin pouring onto your work area. I don't uh, recommend that you do it, by the way. Uh, in your office space or in your all solar powered workstation. But I've done it a few times and I'm pretty comfortable with it. If you're new at it, you should be taking this outside into your woodshed or uh, possibly into your garage or somewhere outdoors. But you need to have it to where there's cover because it takes it a while to dry. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good seal all the way around this. I'm going to make sure that it's pressed down quite well one more time because we're trying to keep all of that resin to the top side of our panel. Alright, that's looking pretty good. I think we're ready to flip it over. Shouldn't have too much sticky tape that's actually down now because you covered it up with wax paper. Wax paper all the way around. I'm thinking this this end's still a little short. I'm going to put another little piece of wax paper on there. Just double check. You know, you're not in any hurry. Once you get one made, they're pretty easy to do. Once you've got your solar panel flipped back over to uh, solar solar cell side, got your wax paper and uh, your tape getting ready to seal it up we're actually going to make a form just a very simple form so that we can pour resin